Hey there, Assassins. Gabe Graziani, one of your community developers on Assassin's Creed Syndicate. And I am joined here today by the phenomenal Paul Amos, voice of Jacob. Phenomenal. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the interview, ladies and gentlemen. This is basically what it's going to be. We have a bunch of weird, crazy questions uh, that I'm supposed to ask Paul. It, it's funny because it says here these questions are intended to be fun while still trying to stay within the context of Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Um, looking through the questions, uh, it looks like we just forgot about that second. Yeah, well, <laughs> may as well. I'll just throw those away. Yeah, no. You have uh, no idea yeah. what you're doing, do you? None whatsoever. None at all. What other accents can you do? Well, as you know, I'm originally from Wales, like, so in Wales they tend to talk a little bit like that, which is a completely different accent, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And then, you know, I lived in Wales and then, uh, you know, I went to London. So then when I went to London, you know, I was, I was, uh, you know, I was living in a drama school in London and we were living in East London and I was living with a bunch of actors and uh, there were a bunch of actors. There was one, uh, one of the actors, he, he was from up north. So he sounded like he was from Game of Thrones, you know what I mean? He sounded like Jon Snow. Um, and then uh, there was another actor, you know, who was, uh, you know, he's from Scotland, so, you know, he, he was from up there. And then there was another little, little wee lassie, she was from, uh, she was from Basingstoke, but she often went over uh, to uh, to South Africa to film commercials. So she would be in South Africa and she would uh, do telecommunications uh, uh, commercials. And uh, and then I, you know, I was back in London. Do you know what I mean? And then I took a flight over to Georgia. I was in Georgia filming on a military summer camp for children. I was there for quite some time, you know. And then I took a plane all the way back to to London, England, and, and then I was in London again, and next thing you know, I got on the plane, and then I'm in Canada, eh? <laughs> and something like that. Fa what is your favorite cereal? Coconut, uh, Cocoa Pops were my favorite when I was younger. Oh, that makes sense. Cocoa Pops, they were, they were pretty, well, they were chocolatey, so yeah. it was a good way of getting your chocolate dose in in the morning. Boneless or bone-in buffalo wings? What is your preference? Bone-in. Bone-in. I mean, in. boneless. I mean, bone-in, boneless is like, you know, an, an assassin's kill without the blade. Ooh. Ooh. Do you know what I mean? Um, the next question is your favorite ice cream flavor. Well, it's probably salted caramel or pistachio. It's a, it's a tie between the two. <laughs> I feel like pistachio is like an old school ice cream. Yeah. You know? Yeah, it's one of those ice creams that they liked like back in the 40s. Back in the, yeah, it's very <laughs> European old school. Yeah, it's, I feel like the, the old assassins would have all liked, you know. <laughs> Pistachio they ice cream. Have great They're just there, you know, with their hidden planes and their pistachio ice cream. Which do you find more menacing, shouting or whispering? I, I think I think we have our answer. What is the craziest acting warm up activity that you've ever done? We have to do we have to you have to have a joke. And you'd go out of the room and um, you'd have to come into the room in front of your class and tell the joke. Sure. So you tell the joke. And the design of this exercise is that nobody responds at all to your joke. So it's just dead. Right. That's terrible. It's horrifying. Why would you do that to a person? And then you're told to go out of the room and come back in and tell your joke again. What would it take? for you to do an actual leap of faith? I know, probably just one pint, I would probably do it. <laughs> and I usually do things a little, I'm usually a little reckless in life. Train or carriage? Train, train, all the time. Choo choo. Yeah. Choo choo! <laughs> if we had a song. Here comes the train, here comes the train. Choo choo! We would do this actually, all of us in unison. <laughs> What? We had a whole load. We had a whole load of songs for uh, for Assassin's Creed the musical. I am Civilian Three. I am Civilian Three. Who goes there? What's your name? I am Civilian Three. I'm Crawford Static, and I pinch the key. Now I'm going to sit back down and have a cup of tea. He's Crawford Static. He stole the key. Now he's going to sit back down and have a cup of tea. The next question is throwing knife or poison dart. Poison dart on myself. Yeah, the Berserker dart. There it's kind go. of fun. <laughs> I had never it's a good Saturday night. I never thought of using it that yeah, way. I, but should, I, should, I would have done it at Oceaga this weekend, <laughs> clearly. <laughs> Pistol or 
pistol or a hidden blade? A hidden blade every yeah. time. I mean, gee whiz. That's kind of a I'd have, Yeah. <laughs> Fans would kill me if I didn't say hidden blade. If you were Jacob, like in real life, if you were actually Jacob. I kind of am, really. Uh, what would be your favorite pastime? I feel like... I feel like he'd probably play Risk with the Rooks. I think they'd go deep into the night, drinking lots of beers, playing Risk. In your opinion, if Jacob were to go head-to-head -head with Blackbeard in a beer drinking contest, who would win? Beer drinking. Beer. Well, I, yeah, I think he's got beer covered, Jacob. Mm. I think maybe if it was a spirit competition, like if it was rum, yeah. then um, we, we may go the opposite way. Okay, well, that is all the questions I have. I want to thank you for joining me. Um, here today and for providing such entertaining mm -hmm. responses. Yeah, I have no idea what we discussed. It was a lot of weirdness. Yeah. All right. I think you got enough there. Available October 23rd.